Hey, what's good, YouTube? Welcome to the HD Spot. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to change your OEM shift knob into an aftermarket shift knob. Um, this was actually requested by a friend of mine, so I decided why not make a video to help not only her but everyone else watching. So I've had this on actually, the aftermarket shift knob. I've had it on already previously on my car. Um, and I just wanted to switch back to the OEM. Uh, but I decided to work backwards. So I took it off, put the OEM back on, and I'm going to go backwards. Put this back on just to show you guys how to do it. So it's pretty straightforward for most manual transmission cars. Um, OEM shift knob. All we're going to have to do is turn this counterclockwise. Uh, it should come off easily. Some cars you might have to... Uh, work at it for a bit might hear a click but don't be afraid just counterclockwise and once the shift knob is off we most of the time just push on the shift boot downwards it may release a clip um i remember the first time i switched to the yo to the aftermarket shift knob i did have to push a little bit down on the shift boot and it does reveal itself and um yeah you'll see so here let's begin i already gave it one good turn counterclockwise which released it so here we go let's just remove it Dun dun dun, let's take a look. Make sure you catch your shift knob because it is kind of heavy. You don't want it damaging any of these interior pieces that, that are in pristine condition. So yours might come like this. Don't be afraid. Most cars um, may have clips. Look how high that is, right? Before I could have installed the aftermarket shift knob along with the hardware mounts that it comes with. I couldn't simply just spin this into there because there would there would be a gap so I had to push down and as you can see a little bit of force and see that this is a 2018 Honda Civic so yeah most cars I don't know if you're gonna have that same issue um, if you do don't be afraid feel free to push down on the shift but you can always bring it back up so most after market shift knobs will come with these bonus gold pieces i think i have another in the box somewhere but they'll come with their own little hardwares um to help um meet a variety or a wide range of cars um because these are supposed to be universal fit so for my car i decided to go with this size i think there's a few other sizes so what you have to do is this won't just lock onto this right look at that it's so loose so loose it won't just lock onto it so what you need to do is install this little mounting device where it, like this where it sits like so and you just you know spin that on there that way this can now screw onto that and I just bring it all the way down so it doesn't move anywhere okay and it's locked into place and now I can go ahead and bring this guy down like so and goes the pokeball and that's good then you feel free to bring back the shift boot there there's other little attachments you can do that kind of fill in that little gap if that bothers you but that's straightforward installation and there you can you can start shifting with it now. Oh yeah, smooth. You can add other shift knobs you want. Um, you know, weighted ones, smaller, bigger, um, whatever fits your hand size, whatever makes driving more smooth for you. So thank you for tuning in. This is actually my first official YouTube video. Thank you. If you have any um tips, advice, or whatever. Want to just say hello? Feel free to comment down below, not below my car, but right there in the comments. I know I'm pointing at the comments. Um, and stay tuned for my next YouTube video. Thank you guys. Peace.